we in modern medicine try and keep society unhealthy, unwell, because that's our business. If all of you become well, I have no business at home. So if you follow nature, you get treatment for every disease. So I would like to give you a new perspective of womanhood and wellness, the two words I love most. Honorable Madam Minister, our Chief Guest, Dr. Karthikeyan, my very good friend and former director of the CBI and a very good police officer that I have ever known anywhere in the world. My very dear friend, the birthday baby whose birthday falls tomorrow, so let me wish him in public a very happy birthday. Peter, all the distinguished dignitaries on the days, our friends from abroad, and members of the Peter's Noni family. <laughs> members of the press. I must thank <coughs> Peter for giving me this golden opportunity to share my views with you all this afternoon for reasons more than one. I had promised Peter that I will speak to you on a new future focus of human wellness which is called energy medicine. Treating all diseases from common cold to cancer using simple energies available on the planet. But having seen the minister here because ministers are very effective in implementing newer policies. And knowing her as I do, because she is young, she is intelligent, she is motivated, and she has the good of the people at heart. So I would like to give you a new perspective of Womanhood and wellness, the two words I love most. We in modern medicine try and keep society unhealthy, unwell, because that's our business. If all of you become well, I have no business at home. I call it as disease mongering. But wellness is a concept that is good for mankind for the simple reason that only less than 1% of mankind today has touched with the so called high tech modern medicine. The rest of them make do with their local remedies for common ailments. Peruvians in the 16th century believed that God gives a treatment for any disease which he brings on people. Malaria used to be so rampant that millions used to die of malaria in Peru in the 16th century. So the Peruvians went to the forest, saw a beautiful tree which was white, cut the bark, made a decoction, drank it, malaria disappeared. That tree was so beautiful, their viceroy's wife was so beautiful, her name was Sincona. They called the tree Sincona tree. And Sincona bark gave us quinine, quinidine, and various other very powerful drugs. Europeans became jealous. If Peruvians could do that, why not me? So they went to their forest and cut another white tree, made a decoction and drank. Fever went, malaria did not go, patients died. That is the willow bark from which we have got a very important drug, aspirin, acetyl salicylic acid, see? So, if you follow nature, you get treatment for every disease.